What's up nerd and nerdettes? It's time for a super powered shorty. This superpower is a splinter off the branch of heat manipulation and water manipulation. So sit down and get set for steam manipulation. Users of this scalding ability can create, shape, and manipulate steam, the gaseous phase of matter which is formed when water boils from intense heat. In terms of chemistry and physics, steam is invisible and cannot be seen. But in common language, it's oftentimes used to refer to the visible mist of water droplets formed as water vapor condenses, you know, in the presence of cooler air. And if you heat it further, it becomes superheated steam. This ability, like many others, is oftentimes confused for vapor, mist, smoke, dust, you see where I'm going with this, which makes sense because at its core, they all consist of a loose grouping of small particles created from various materials. Now don't get me wrong, this ability is still its own unique power, mainly because of the water and the heat aspect, but media oftentimes overlaps the previously mentioned powers with this power because they're so similar. So it's fairly common to not have a distinction when it's portrayed unless it's for a plot relevant reason. Me personally, if I was any more lazy, I'd just slap Mr. Dust Manipulation on them all and call it a day, but there's no fun in that. So expect more videos from the others I mentioned previously. You know the fun thing about Steam? It starts with the same letter as Shay. And you know what else starts with the same letter as Shay? Subscribe, as in the subscribe button, as in doing Shay a favor and hitting that like and subscribe button. This shorty might evaporate quick just like real Steam, but you can still help collect and pass the vapors of this video on by hitting that share button. If you like an explanation on its symbolization or info on its history and lore, check out my video on its parent superpowers water manipulation, and heat manipulation. You also get to see my self-analysis of its importance in both world culture and popular culture. The links are in the description. Now with the power to manipulate steam comes the natural ability to attack with, defend with, or control steam with steam attacks. They can create their own source of steam separate from outside sources with steam generation, and since you can generate your own source of steam, it would make sense you're able to infuse the element into your life energy with steam aura. The user is also able to use steam to recover or heal any injuries with steam healing. Well, what if you want to take this to the next level? Well, don't sweat it. Just take your steam aura a step further and transform your physical being into steam with steam mimicry or project this power outward and transform outside matter into steam with evaporation yeah i got you guys on that one and since you can become steam itself why shouldn't you be able to use the heated vapor to enhance whatever combative capabilities they possess with nephokinetic combat nepho meaning cloud you know it's well known that clouds are just water vapor and steam and a bunch of other stuff steam though Remember, steam generates heat, a lot of it. So if you want to concentrate that and the water droplets into boiling liquids, you can bubble and boil nearly anything over with scald generation. And lastly, the user is able to gather the surrounding moisture in large quantities and channel it underground into hollowed out areas, don't ask where those come from, superheat it, and then release it into a massive burst of pressurized steam with geyser creation and there you have it steam manipulation in a nutshell this ability is actually very useful yeah it actually is mainly because it contains control over water and heat two abilities that are useful in creating and maintaining life as well as being used as a power source although it still has numerous weaknesses that come from the combination of both water and heat a main one that will really hold a user of this power back is the user's own knowledge, skills, natural limits, or lack thereof. So, if you got what it takes to constantly be sweaty, then go for it. Thanks for watching. You guys think of any more applications for this power? Jot it down in the comment section. Start a discussion. The index doesn't grow without you. I'll be back with an entirely new power, breakdown, and analysis pretty soon.